All right, so I'm Harold Wong. I'm an IT professional evangelist here in the U.S. We're at TechEd 2009 in L.A. With me, I have a couple of partners that have developed a custom app around BPOS. So I want to go ahead and have you guys introduce yourselves and then share with us a little bit about what you did. Hi there. Uh, I am Dattatre Kulkarni. I work as a senior project manager in Sonata Software. And... Uh, I'm Sanjay Kumar. Uh, I work as a senior architect for Sonata Software Limited. Okay, uh, uh, let me quickly give you an uh, overview of what we did uh, using BPOS here. Uh, we have developed a custom solution around the project management process, uh, typically for organizations who have distributed teams or the clients. Right? Uh, and, um, you know, why, why did we do this? If you look at it, um, there are a couple of business challenges as well as IT challenges. If you look at it, uh, when you have a distributed environment, uh, typically people or the projects running across the geography, the one of the primary challenge what you are going to come across is the uh, collaboration, right? We're sharing information between the teams or among the team members. And the second uh, foremost challenge what you uh, get is in terms of getting a visibility into that project uh, in terms of the schedule, effort, risk at any given point of time. And looking at these two challenges, um, you know, the third challenge which you see is making decisions. Because you don't have information at your hand at any given point of time, decisions will be delayed, right? Uh, and seeing at this distributed geography, it makes it more challenging because of the different time zones and different people working at different locations. So it's, it's pretty challenging, right? The uh, other foremost important challenge uh, primarily looking at these mid-sized companies is, is around saying, okay, hey, look, at, I have uh, very talented resources with me, but I want them to focus more on strategic projects rather than maintaining these IT platforms for me, right? And then, you know, I, I want to get all the benefits of this uh, latest platform, security updates, uh, availability, reliability, you know, with minimal capital investment. Right? Yeah. Uh, so actually, what we did important. is like uh, uh, we thought uh, SharePoint is the best option. We developed the whole thing on SharePoint. Uh, later, what happened is like uh, when we talked to the customer, customer did not want to go about having his own server, maintaining them, upgrading all those things. Right. So that is when we looked at the hosted environment as such. Right? Awesome. Which is the so th that's at the stage uh, for us to look at, you know, okay, look, uh, here is an online service, a PPOS, uh, which is business productivity uh, standard online suit, which we can use uh, to address these business challenges and the IT challenges of the customer. Right? So uh, we did uh, develop some of the custom solutions using these, primarily yeah, yeah, SharePoint Online and the Exchange Online. Right? Right? and then develop this to give more visibility into the projects and stuff like that. Okay. So let me ask, when you develop, because you initially started doing it for SharePoint hosted at the customer site, yeah. right? And then you changed to adopt your program or your application for the hosted environment. Yes. Were, were there challenges in terms of developing for one environment versus the other environment? Uh, the main challenge what we face is uh, the capability of uh, SharePoint online service to host DLLs is not there. So you are supposed to code without the extra programming. Uh, so like that was the main challenge uh, which was there. So, so that, that means then you had to store things locally on the client so machine. So yes. it just changes a little bit, but it's still doable. Yes, we did it through web services. We interfaced through web services and then we managed to do that. So what can I ask how long it took or what the development cycle was to from beginning to end on completing this project for just the hosted solution that you built? Yeah, uh, um, for this customer where we implemented this, uh, it's of a mid-sized company, so it, 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 it was really short. Uh, you know, we, we did this entire uh, life cycle of the project in around three to four weeks' time. Wow, and, three, uh, okay, I was expecting here three to four months. No, <laughs> that's how it, it short it was. Uh, uh, and then we put them onto the hosted service, and it's, it's, it's really exciting. Okay, so, and, and I'm interested in this because I do have a lot of mid-sized customers that I've talked to that said, well, you know, I want to go with BPOS, but we have custom-developed apps that right now are written for SharePoint interaction or Exchange interaction. I can't easily go to this BPAWS environment, even though it makes sense, because these applications won't work. Exactly. But you're a great example of it's not that hard to change a few things, right, and redevelop or maybe make a few modifications and still have those custom apps in a BPAWS or hosted environment. Absolutely right. 
uh, and 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 other other factor which you need to look at interesting thing here is uh, it gives you that hybrid solutions and you, know, you can still have some of them on premise and you can still have some of them on the hosted service integrate them you know it's it's not just moving everything away to the cloud like for okay. example uh, we move the project management piece into the cloud but the accounts piece we still wanted to have in the uh, client uh, so like as a uh, non hosted service on premise service as such like okay so the on premise service had to talk to the hosted service to get data so we did it through the web services the vice versa also like there were time when the hosted service had to talk to the on premise service to get data so we linked it to the web services as such so that web services platform is a lifesaver it makes development a lot easier and integration a lot Absolutely. easier yeah. okay well that's that's what i was interested in hearing about because that's going to intrigue a lot of people and hopefully help adopt help with the adoption of bpos right absolutely and you guys are doing some great work in that area so i appreciate that thanks a lot okay thank you thank you thanks bye